remember earlier this week we had the magician on who is charged tens of thousands of dollars a year in fines and fees and regulations and has to create a disaster plan for the rabbit he uses in the show. You've, of course, heard about them wanting uh, $5,000 a day fines for dust, hay dust in a barn. You have uh, you, you j j just seen all the madness that's going on to shut down our economy and to collectivize this nation. But I have several videos today. One of these actually went up yesterday morning on Infowars.com, but I'm going to be getting to it uh, later in the hour. A animal shelter took in a baby deer, so they SWAT teamed them because uh, they put a YouTube video out about it and a bunch of good neighbors tattled on them that it was supposedly illegal. And so they came and killed the baby deer and put it in a body bag. Armed agents raid animal shelter for baby deer and kill it. WISN TV. Now, again, these are being run over all day, ladies and gentlemen. But if you try to save one, the bureaucrats are going are to come after you. Then I have City of Seattle bans the words brown bag and bans the word citizen. Both are offensive. Now, again, you've got real racism going on. White against black, black against white, you name it. You've got the so-called left. Uh, you know, coming out and, I mean, I heard one of the leftist local talk show hosts yesterday morning say that anybody who's poor, i.e. minority, should be forcibly sterilized. They had a whole hour-long show about that with the favorite son liberal talk show host here in Austin. And I was driving into work listening to this, just going, is this, I'm really hearing this? Because that's liberal to kill black people, you know, to make sure they don't get born. Uh, but uh, don't say brown bag. That's like we posted a joke satire video, Nancy Pelosi caught... Uh, in secret, caught in caught in secret Obamacare meeting, it's just hilarious, and and you know it shows the Affordable Care Act as a turd wrapped in the bill, and people are all over that on YouTube and on Infowars.com saying it's racist code word. No, no, sometimes a turd is a turd. We're saying that it's a horrible pile of Bravo Sierra. You know, like you say, that car is a lemon. That car is a. Or I tell you, uh, you know, this employee is a, are you miserable little, I think I've called my dog that before, you know, when I've walked to the house at night and stepped in it, you little, but no, no, when I call my dog that, it's racism. I didn't know that. Again, this is an attack on free speech and the hate laws they want to put in to arrest whoever they want. That's coming up. Brown bag. Now, brown bag is associated for over 150 years with cheap mass milled pulp paper. And that's why you call it brown bagging it. Brown bagging it means bringing your own lunch. And they know that. They want to expand it out to a point. I told you they arrest you in England for using the word homosexual. Even though that's just a scientific term like heterosexual, homosexual, uh, Caucasian, Negro. All that supposedly is racist. There's white groups that don't want the word Caucasian used. They say it's hurtful. These are just, these are just names. Like, uh, I, I've actually seen articles where people got mad in a restaurant because someone ordered a Negro Modelo. In fact, try to pull that up. It was a few years ago. I think it was in Dallas. People got mad and there was a big scene. It was white yuppies that got mad. They heard the word Negro. Didn't know in Spanish. That just means black. <laughs> it just means I want a dark beer. You know, in German, it means Bach. I guess Bach means dark beer. That's racist too, folks. Can't say Bach beer. Can't say Negro Modelo. Can't say uh, I want a... Uh, Brown bag special. You know, a lot of lunch places say you want the brown bag special, and you and you get your barbecue sandwich and your chips and your pickle and drink for you know four dollars or whatever, and it's it's called you know it's a special. That that's racist. So you're all looking for secret racism everywhere, but instead of the real racist stuff going on in front of you, the UN you know running mass murder operations in Africa to take people's land. It's even the New York Times. Nobody gets in trouble. Remember a teapot. Might look a little like Hitler, like a cloud, so you ban that. My dog looks like he has a Hitler mustache. Should he be euthanized? And I'm not joking. There may come a day when a death squad comes in the politically correct world. I tell you, I, I just can't believe it. It's all coming up. Big Benghazi news. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. 
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. I am your host, Alex Jones, on this Friday Worldwide Edition. Thank you so much for joining us. We have popping in at the bottom of the next hour, the $100,000 winner, first place prize winner of the Operation Paul Revere Film Contest uh, for the film The Purge. And uh, Michael uh, Dorman will be joining us at the bottom of the next hour. James Dillingpole will then join us for part of the third hour to discuss his uh, London Telegraph uh, research of 97%. We actually already knew this, but I'm glad he did the research. 97, it, w it was more than I thought. I thought it was around 90, because uh, I'd found a few small oil companies that weren't funding it. 97% uh, of the climate change global warming fanatics are funded by oil companies. We'll be explaining why that is. When you say, listen, I don't think we should shut down all our power plants. They're totally clean. Uh, China has dirty ones. We can't compete. Uh, shut up, shut up. You work for the oil companies. Well, actually, I don't work for the oil companies. Uh, I work for common sense and having an industry uh, in this country. So that's going to be coming up so incredibly, so incredibly uh, important. Now, we have huge news on the science front, uh, massive news on the Benghazi front as well. And huge news uh, on the BBC and the British government pedophile front that I've got to get to because I had this news yesterday. More has come out today and I didn't cover it because I kind of psychologically shy away from this. It's so horrific. I'm not a big fan of horror movies either. I don't just like horror for horror's sake. And it's very upsetting, but we're going to cover it. Celebrity arrest could soar after horrified police discover Jimmy Savelle's secret lair, secret room at record shop. Uh, this is the guy who was the most trusted confidant of the royal family, including the Queen of England. <clears throat> and there is a reason all of this is coming out now. Undoubtedly, this has been known for decades. They are blackmailing the British royalty to fully uh, sign all their power over to the Rothschild Rockefeller uh, bank combine. So this is the true fall of the House of Windsor you're seeing right now uh, with the blackmail. And you're also seeing the globalist move on Rupert Murdoch with the hacking scandal threatening to arrest him if he doesn't basically submit to their takeover. So uh, this is very serious information uh, going on right now, and I'm going to be breaking that down as well. Also, I've been telling you about this for uh, really about 17, 18 years on air, but uh, I learned about it a few years under the broadcast. And uh, that's uh, plastic chemical BPA may harm human fertility and cause cancer. And that's a new study, a big scientific study that they're reporting on on Fox News. Uh, that's today. Uh, the answer, of course, uh, by White House run MSNBC will be to come out and say that I say that they're making people gay with juice boxes. Uh, when what I uh, actually uh, said and what I actually covered was the fact that it also has that side effect. Uh, so we're going to be going over uh, that report as well. Uh, also, here's a CNN headline today. Your TV might be watching you. Oh, really? I told people this 16 years ago when I was visited by a Time Warner uh, high level. I'm not going to say high, how high level. They can go back to the time to figure out who it was. But a high-level engineer in Time Warner in Central Texas. And when I broke the news that the televisions had hidden microphones and, and that some even had hidden cameras, I was given death threats. And I mean the type where they tell you uh, what your girlfriend uh, had for lunch. That kind, where they have, you know, private goons following you around and things. They did not want this out at that time. Now it's time to roll it out to the slaves. So there's CNN, told you so again. And again, I'm not up here every day going, told you so, 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 about my ego, okay? In fact, this is scary to know that I know their program very well, better than almost 
anybody on air. Uh, I've spent my life trying to discover reality, not 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 the fiction that's put out uh, as the cover media. And I know their program. Most of it they've they've put down in books and white papers and conferences they've had on record. Uh, I mean, um, it, it's 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 just mind boggling to know what their public plan is and to know how horrific it is, and now to see it moving ahead. And to still be attacked by people that work for the establishment. You know, they've got a lot of operatives in every major news network and every major newspaper on record since media got going in this country. But it's intensified in the last few decades because previously people involved in psyops and propaganda in media thought they were doing it for liberty and freedom. And so there was some restraint involved. It was still immoral, the road to hell paved by that type of thing. But now it's just pure cynical mercenaries who will do anything they're told. And that's the nature historically of tyranny is that it just progresses by increment until the bottom falls out. But when you see the announcement of the Pentagon and the CIA and the White House to give tens of billions of dollars to every major media outlet and to have the Pentagon openly try to buy off even small bloggers to stir up infighting and disinfo. The fact that they're mainlining that announcement is an attempt so that when it comes out they're doing it, it isn't like, ooh, we caught the army planning fake news. It's that, well, that's no big deal. It's to inoculate psychologically because you see, they can't just have their, their you know, 20 or so, I'm guesstimating at the Washington Post that are naval intelligence and and CIA and then Ford Foundation above intelligence agencies, uh, foundation operatives. Uh, that way there's no government oversight. I mean, they've, they've, I mean, I know of about 20 known operatives at the Washington Post currently. I, uh, Bob Woodward, Naval Intelligence, I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, Bernstein, CIA. Um, oh, he doesn't probably like that announcement. The point is, is that things like that are going on and then you've got CNN that's been the model since Ted Turner launched it with military satellites to broadcast the video feeds is CIA, 100% up one side, down the other. MSNBC's like Foundation, Ford Foundation, Carnegie, Rockefeller Endowment, uh, White House, a State Department. I mean, different agencies get different media ops. It's like they, you know, they divide, okay, you manage this one, you manage that one. Fox News is kind of like the Republicanoid uh, Heritage Foundation management arm situation to kind of control the right wing. But now it's time to get rid of that. So they're figuring out you know, that there's going to be no room at the top for them. This is a purely socialist communist uh, system in its, in its prime vein. So now this whole mainlining, this whole announcement of this happening is just so it can be, oh, hi, guys, here's somebody from the White House, the Department of Defense, or the CIA, and all the women blush. Ooh, isn't he handsome? Yeah, I'm here to help you. We're here to work with the public, work with America. And here's Colonel Johnson. You know, one morning, uh, you know, from the Army, he's, it's just a main line that you're going to work right. This is the takeover. This is the full takeover. Because they don't want to just have their people that they then put on TV and the reporters that they magnify and the reporters that they give all the attention so that, so that all the junior reporters mimic what the uh, Operation Mockingbird operatives do. That doesn't work anymore. They need everybody at the Austin American Statesman and everybody at the New York Times and everybody at the LA Times and everybody at the local TV station to pull as one and to say, yeah, we got orders directly from the government and they direct what you're going to do and that's the way it works now. That's all being announced everywhere now. And the Pentagon is coming out as of last week and saying, the only group we don't control is the bloggers, people like Drudge Report. We're going to interface with them. We're going to become their sources so they trust us. And the people in the audience are just shaking their heads because they've done this in third world countries and taken over. They know this is a full takeover of America. That's why they look so depressed and freaked out. A few younger gullible people that got up and asked questions are like, we don't lie anymore? And he goes, well, you'll see. Now let's say we lie. So this is the full immersion in the true state-run, globalist-run, corporate-run, foundation-run media. This is the, oh, you've exposed we're government-run? You bet. Now we're coming for you.
And so if you think there's been infighting and buy-offs and everything else, get ready to see who's been paid off. I mean, you're going to see bloggers and alternative media people. Most of them have already been bought off or paid off, and some of that's even come out uh, to attack us. Now it's going to be just, you're going to see just the guns in the next year. It'll take them a year to get it organized. They're going to just swing around and start blasting us 24-7. And, and that's fine. We're prepared for that, and we're ready. We've already hit the barbed wire. We've already taken out the enemy operation machine gun nest. We're moving towards the final objective. So, I mean, we're, we're ready for it because we got the guy upstairs in Providence. So fire away. If it's God's will, you'll destroy me. And it may be God's will that I blow up and burn in front of everybody. Fine. Maybe it's God's will that we move through the enemy and defeat them. Good. I don't pray for anything. I just say your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Period. Period. So I'm ready, but you need to understand, folks, this is it. And then they're coming after all the pension funds that's already started, as I told you, public and private. They're coming after your children. They're coming with forced inoculations. They're coming after the language. They're going to they're gonna arrest you for, for saying, I want a Negro Modelo uh, uh, beer. They're going to arrest you if you say, I want a Swartz during Oktoberfest. They're going to arrest you in Seattle if you say, I want a brown bag special at your business. I'm not joking. We actually have a newscast on that. They're going to arrest you if you call yourself a citizen. I'm not joking. That's that's coming. Uh, they're going to arrest you basically. For, this is it. This is the city. I'm not joking, by the way. That's mainstream news. Um, if you don't want your kids taught how to, uh, you know, have anal sex when they're five years old by the pedophile government, you're going to be arrested. You don't want to get give them a shot. You're going to be arrested. You don't want to turn your guns in. You're going to be arrested. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buy in these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices. We bought it in the biggest bulk 
that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> Welcome back. I am your host, Alex Jones. So let's go ahead and plunge into the geopolitical news. And then in the next segment, I'll get into the political correctness uh, that is designed to basically paralyze everyone intellectually. And then attached to that uh, psychological phobia to, 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 to upset someone, a political agenda of good, support socialism, turn your guns in, get rid of your family, live in a coffin-sized apartment, except Agenda 21, prove that you are part of the cult. We're being nudged, henpecked, into submitting to the globalists who are a bunch of murdering robber barons with giant private armies above the law that run giant child kidnapping and sex slave rings, telling us, oh, look, you said you have a brown bag special. That's meant to be racist. And people go, what, you're, you're joking. And they go, no, I'm not racist. That teapot looks like Hitler. We're going to get to that. But first, look at this article. This is out of the London Telegraph a year after we told you. We told you this within a week, and we told you this in the first month, and we have all the articles we wrote and all the guests we had on. CIA running arms smuggling team in Benghazi when consulate was attacked. That's right. And they wanted to get rid of the substation safe house that had a huge warehouse behind it full of heat-seeking missiles and heavy and medium arms. Folks, this came out day one, just like they blew up the 23 Navy SEALs. And then some of them lived on the ground and had contractors kill them to get rid of the witnesses that there was no bin Laden raid. It was all fake. There was a raid there, but it wasn't who they said. And there was no body on the ship, and that's now come out. There was no burial, and they've classified, even from above top secret in the Pentagon, anyone being able to see those reports. You can't see the report of the downed seals. You can't see the report of the bin Laden, because there is no report. It's fake, ladies and gentlemen. And the families are now coming out and saying that, and they can't kill all of them. Oh, the CIA had been subjecting operatives to monthly polygraph tests in an attempt to suppress details of a U.S. arms smuggling operation in Benghazi that was ongoing when its ambassador was killed by a mob in the city last year. Yeah, that was the hired security for Benghazi. That was the main command base in the year-plus war to overtake Gaddafi using al-Qaeda. Up to 35 CIA operatives were working in the city during the attack like September on U.S. consulate that resulted in the death of Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other Americans. Well, yeah, they had checkpoints down the street trying to catch the people that got away. They didn't want any witnesses getting away. They were directing the Al-Qaeda forces to kill everyone so there would be no witnesses as to who gave them the heat-seeking missiles. Because they're going to let Al-Qaeda shoot down aircraft all over the Western world and they're going to set up checkpoints and they're going to take our rights. And it won't matter when I get on the air, if I'm even around at that time, and say our government gave them the heat seekers, they will call me a traitor and say, why do you support Al-Qaeda? And I'll go, no, our government gave it, our government did it. Shut up, traitor! What are you inside job people talking about? Well, we're talking about criminal elements in our own government. 
that are getting power out of this. This is elementary. Trillions in no-bid weapons contracts. Taking all of our rights. Making it national security where the trillions in missing Pentagon funds are. Able to have rendition aircraft that fly people out for torture and drugs back in that have crashed before and been in Reuters. This is a bunch of hardcore killers above the law run by private banks and foundations that are fundamentally anti-human and say that they are eugenicists that want to basically enslave humanity. I've got articles on that from DARPA. DARPA to genetically engineer humans by adding 47th chromosome and are going to roll them out on the streets. And get this, you're racist if you say it's bad to do. By the way, you know how they have had human clones for more than 20 years on record? Oh, yeah. They just don't call them humans because they're less than 1% altered with animal or insect or plant DNA. And then they say they kill them before the embryos grow to full term in the cow uteruses. You may have heard lately, oh, they're going to be able to grow human organs in cow uteruses. I read in the BBC 16 years ago about that. And they were talking about it going on a decade before, so 26 years. I mean, I read 15 years ago about South Korea and Hong Kong and other areas of Asia in Hong Kong and then in China, but also in South Korea, where you can buy glow-in-the-dark monkeys that are part jellyfish. We ought to buy one just to show everybody. They cost about 20 grand last time I checked. We'll be right back. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com.